so dear friends will have a quiz first okay you find it out the remedy i will i will tell you a case which i have treated this was a case nearly about 10 10 to 15 years back one of my close relative he came to me directly he he uh, started from pune he is from nasik and on the way he um, stopped he took uh, stop at sangamner and from the sangamner bus station he came to my clinic and when he was sitting in front of me there was complete he was totally perspired he was having typical chest pain with severe chest pain and it used to radiate throughout the right left upper extremity and this he was getting off and on and what he has said uh, this is i have i am getting this since last 2 3 months whenever i starts walking this these features comes out i have to take a little bit rest and then if i continued walking then it stops but it happens that i used to get very severe pain it is a constricting pain inside my chest and it radiates to whole left upper extremity and i sweat a lot i get breathless thereafter so um, he he went to pune for that same thing and uh, he he was advised to go for an angiography first and they considered he might have a block over there and um, he will require angioplasty also that was their conclusion so seen by a good physician at pune but he felt that it's better instead of going for the angioplasty let us take my opinion and he came to me so this was the case with which patient presented me and he was a quite a restless person that's why he took a decision all of a sudden no one was knowing that he is coming to me even i was not knowing he all of a sudden it was surprise to me when i saw him and in life he is also a restless person never sits in one position used to seeing used to do a work in uh, used to do a work in um, dramas in childhood and that fellow all of a sudden started having such pathology so i asked him to sit i checked his bp bp was little bit low it was not so low but it was around 100 by 70 but he was having a tachycardia and he was breathless at that time so what's the remedy anyone any idea ah, now it is your time to tell me the remedy now I will give you one hint. It's a, uh, it's a spider. It is a Latrodactus mactans. The remedy is Latrodactus mactans. So we'll first learn that remedy. It is spider, and we'll learn that this is a very good remedy, and it works in such types of cases very nicely. So I, let us start. The bite produces tetanic effects that last several days. A picture of angina pectoris underlying this is given in italics the picture of angina pectoris is presented by the action of the drug the precordial region seems to be the center of attack constriction of the chest muscles with radiation to the shoulders and back lowered coagulability so very typical picture of angina pectoris which is there with this remedy Head symptoms, you get the anxiety, this patient screams with pain, pain in the neck to the back of the head and occipital pain. So headache generally associated with chest complaints is the characteristic of this remedy. Respiratory C, extreme apnea, apnea means loss of breath with gasping respiration. So patient becomes sometimes in a gasping state. 
fierce losing of a breath. He feels that his breath will, might be stopped. Chest symptoms. These are most important symptoms of the remedy. Chest violent precordial pain extending to the axilla and down the arm and forearm to the fingers with numbness of the extremity. Pulse is feeble and rapid. Sinking sensation at the chest then cramping pain from chest to abdomen. So this is very typical with this lateral rectus medicals. It is clear cut picture of angina pectoris. Extremities pain in left arm feels paralyzed. Weakness of legs followed by cramps in the abdominal muscles. Parasthesia of the lower limbs. Parasthesia means it is just a paralytic sensation with asthesia of the skin. Skin, there is a coldness of whole surface. Skin is cold as marble. So this is a very clear cut picture of the angina pectoris which you can get in this remedy. Relationship compare the latrodectus hasselty. New South Wales black spider long lasting effects seems to indicate it as a chronic blood poisoning. Arrest intense pain in pyemia. Great edema in the neighborhood of the wound. Paralysis of the limbs with great wasting of the muscles. Violent darting burning pains preceding the paralysis. Vertigo with tendency to fall forwards. Septicemic condition. Constant delusion of flying. Loss of memory and roaring noises. So this is another black spider which you can get having typical features over there. Then there is loss of memory, roaring noises. Then Arania, again a spider remedy, Mygale, a spider remedy, Theridion, a spider remedy, then the Latrodectus, Calipo, New Zealand spider, again a spider remedy. So he has given all spider remedies for comparison. That's New Zealand spider, the symptoms are lymphangitis with nervous twitching, the scarlet burning eruptions. A spider remedy, this is common. They are Asthesia is always common with the spider. They are very sensitive to noise. They are, their neuropathic features are always common with the spider remedy. So you can in Theridion, you get they are very sensitive to the noise. Then another remedy which he has given over there, it's triatema, kissing bug, swelling with a violent itching of the fingers and toes, smothering sensation and a difficult breathing succeeded by fainting and rapid pulse. So these are very small remedies, not well proved, very few features of those remedies are known. But sometimes you get very typical features of those remedies. So for that's, that, that's why whenever you read the Borix Mutt remedy, always try to read the relationship where you get these small remedies. And one of the time in, in your practice, you get such remedies for the prescription. So that last part which he has mentioned is the sixth potency, but sixth potency is a very low potency. Generally, whenever patient is having the typical presentation of a Indiana pectoris with a high level of susceptibility, you can go to medium potency also. So 30, 200, 1M, this potency should be there with you, which can be useful and you can repeat for two, three days uh, and wait for the result. Whenever you are giving this functional potency, that is the um, potency 30 to 100 1M, where there is no material in there, there is no fear of repeating those, even though um, it, it works on the heart. So this is the good remedy to be think of in such types of cases, whenever angina pectoris is present. Another remedy which one can use is cactus mother tincture. But that should that is under the primary action you can use the cactus. So primary primary action you can dilate the spa uh, you can dilate the coronaries with the help of cactus, which prevent the spasm of the coronary. So these are the remedies which are very useful in ICCU, intensive cardiac care unit, um, which can be very helpful to the patient. To that case when I started this immediately. Within 8 days there was a recovery and patient never had a problem thereafter. So his angio angiography was not done and he started walking freely thereafter all the problems settled. So this is a good remedy to be think of whenever there is a um, angina pectoris. So we'll stop over here, the patients are waiting, we'll discuss something again.